nice switches, man. <laughs> I think we'll take these two in the center, if that's all right. Okay. Yeah, well, uh, if you want, sorry, after your presentation. Oh, got yeah. it, okay. Well, hey, welcome everybody. I'm Scott Hymas, I'm the CMO at Sangrid, and we're really uh, proud and, and excited to be here on the growth stage today. Sangrid's a tremendous growth story. Started uh, nine years ago when three developers came up with the idea of being able to, uh, whoop, to send email via an API, which was pretty innovative at that point in time, and scaled today to, uh, whoop, did I just, can you advance the slide, please? For some reason this uh, stopped working. There we go. So today we power some of the uh, largest brands in the world with their email infrastructure and email marketing. Uh, every Uber receipt that you receive, every Airbnb notification, every booking.com reservation comes through the SendGrid network. Um, on our next slide, actually our offering is composed of, uh, could you forward the slide please? Yeah, thanks. Our offering is composed of two things. Uh, we have an email API or email infrastructure solution that's used by thousands and thousands of companies to programmatically send email via an API. Think password resets, automated notifications, and you know one-to-one -one operational recipient initiated email. And then second, we have a marketing uh, tool called Marketing Campaigns, which competes with products like MailChimp in the marketplace and allows, allows marketers to send beautiful promotional emails and, and really drive that one-to-many uh, sender-initiated email solution. And all that's supported by our platform, uh, which provides all of the security and scalability uh, in the marketplace, as well as our expert services team, which helps us really drive growth for our clients by helping them optimize their programs. And today, we have 55,000 paying customers around the world in over 100 co countries. Um, we have offices in Denver, Colorado, which is where our headquarters are, but also Redwood City and San Francisco, as well as Orange County, and a recently opened office in London. Uh, we have about 410 employees around the world and are, are very excited to have scaled well beyond the, uh, the 100 million mark in terms of uh, trailing revenue. So excited to be here. Thank you very much, and we'll sit down now. Come and take a seat. They have this clock, so I can watch it. Okay. So what do you love about what you do? Well, I think the funnest part about business is driving growth, and that's what my role in the company is all about, is helping SendGrid expand our customer base and acquire new customers. We're primarily a self-service driven business model, okay. and so very driven off of uh, our web experience trying to convert customers. And, and what sort of team is in SendGrid at the moment? What are the people around you right now? Well, I have a, you know, a growth marketing team that's focused on driving revenue, and that's composed of our, uh, you know, our acquisition team that buys advertising, as well as our content marketing team, and what we call our nurture and convert team. And then I have a, a great community development group that goes out and evangelizes in the software and startup market, um, you know, and the classic uh, kind of communications and creative and corporate branding. Okay. So phenomenal growth so far. Yeah. Do you see it continuing as a trend, or will it get even sharper? Well, I mean, obviously, as you hit the law, law of large numbers, it becomes harder and harder to maintain the kind of growth that you've experienced historically. But um, we're very focused on, on driving meaningful growth. Um, you know, we've expanded beyond the email API infrastructure business into email marketing, which has opened a much larger total available market for us. And we're looking now at, at uh, new, new markets like advertising that we think uh, also promise a lot of growth. So what, what lies at the heart of the success so far? Where, where's the passion in this? The passion? Well, I mean, one of the things that's really unique about Sangrid is our, our culture. We call it the four H's, happy, hungry, humble, and honest. <laughs> and it's very uh, integrated inside of our company, inside the, the lexicon, the language that we use every day. People are always referring to, hey, this uh, happy H or a hungry H issue, or we need a little honest H in this conversation. What are you today? <laughs> I'm super happy H right now. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's a, that's a huge part of our uh, uniqueness as a company, is the culture that permeates throughout SendGrid, and I think it's been a, a key attribute of why we've been able to be such a fast-growing company. So how do you, you know, keep this culture going as you grow and grow and grow? It's one of our biggest challenges, frankly. Our CEO talks about it all the time. It's something that keeps him up at night, is how do you maintain the culture as you scale and grow. And I think you have to, you know, we bring the whole company together twice a year and in two events. One's called a kick-ass kickoff, and the other one's called a kick-ass summer alignment. And, you know, we spend a lot of time together uh, trying to forge those bonds that maintain that culture and help us continue to grow. 
So tech company is about people, or the, without the people, would the tech company still survive? Uh, I, I don't think so. I think that ultimately it, any tech company is about the quality of the people that are at the heart of it and the mission and the passion that you have for what you do as a company. Um, we're you know, super passionate about building the most scalable you know, communications platform in the world and making it the most trusted solution for driving engagement for customers. And so you know, that uh, works its way through our whole company and it's ultimately about every individual believing that mission and seeing that vision and being able to focus on it and make it happen. Okay. So with this growth and with this kind of the changes that you've been making over the last couple of years, help me understand three years from now, you're sat on this stage or an even bigger one talking about SendGrid. What's it going to look like? Well, I think that we'll have uh, an even more powerful marketing solution. We'll have more automation capabilities. We'll have more integrations with e-commerce platforms that make it easier to do engaging email marketing campaigns. I think we'll also be uh, have expanded into new uh, markets like advertising and being able to, to drive the connection between your email marketing program and your direct response ad campaign in a new and unique way. We've got some innovative things going down that. I think we'll be a much more global company than we are today. We'll have offices in Europe and Latin America in addition to you know um, Asia, and we'll be looking at uh, you know more ways that we can scale outside the U.S. Okay. So what do you think it takes to be global? Have you done global scale before yourself? I have, and uh, you know, it takes a lot of effort. It takes a unique combination of having a local team on the ground that understands the market where you're at, as well as uh, a, you know, a marketing and sales organization that is efficient at being able to sell outside of the United States. Um, and so we'll be, we'll be looking to you know, execute that traditional sort of play of expanding slowly into different markets with the team on the ground and building up from there as we sort of provide air cover on the sales and marketing side internationally. Sales cycles in Europe are traditionally quite different to sales cycles in the US. How do you plan to kind of transcend that? Well, again, um, you know, we've opened our first office in Europe in London, and okay. we have that staffed with a sales, customer success, marketing, partner, and community development sort of team that represents each of those functions. And it is different selling in Europe than it is in the United States. And so we, we pay attention to that by having a, you know, a local team on the ground that can adhere to that model. Okay. So for all these people out here, do you have any nugget of advice you want to give them about hypergrowth? Well, I think that 16 um, seconds. I get 16 seconds. <laughs> I, so, uh, you know, I, I think uh, culture is absolutely one of the things that's unique and different about high growth companies. If you don't have a good culture that's, you know, uh, aligned, you, you're not going to see the kind of growth that you want to see, period. And, um, you know, I think today in our digital first economy, um, you know, there are lots of ways to growth hack and to find ways to, to leverage both direct response you know, at tactics and advertising models, as well as uh, really strong content marketing that builds awareness for your brand and helps you drive growth. Awesome. Thank you very much. Round of applause, Thank please, you. for Scott.